And are you desirous of something more serious, something long term? Yes, I'm waiting until marriage. For, for what? what? <laughs> <laughs> to have sex? Yeah, for sex. Are you a virgin? No. Don't you think that ship has sailed? <laughs> you can decide at any time. I yes, can. You can decide at any I time. I can re to be like because okay, I feel like any time a girl starts having sex, it's like I don't know. That's just an experience. <laughs> X4XBlazy donated $69. Like like Ladies, you're out in this. open sea on a raft. Would you rather have a man with you or a great white shark circling you? Uh, okay, starting with you. Go ahead, Bobby. Open sea on a raft. Obviously, rather I would like to be with a man. Or a great white shark. Random man. It's a random man. Um, yeah, man. Man's great. A man, obviously. A random man. It's not so obvious. I would take a random man. Yeah, definitely a dude. Many. Many. Okay. Uh, so going back to this. Yeah. Um, so wait. So you're sure. you're waiting until. Are you religious? A little. I've been reading the Bible a lot more recently. Okay. Do you do you have a denomination? A uh, Christian. No, I mean, like, are you Protestant, Orthodox, no. Catholic? Okay. I have uh, I have a question. If that's okay. Go ahead. So you're not a virgin? No, I'm not but, a virgin. But now you want to wait until marriage? Um, yeah, for the most part. Okay, you do realize that doing that, you're setting yourself up for failure, right? Because you don't know what you're getting into. You don't know if you have any sexual chemistry. You're going to get with this dude and find out that he's not tooting your horn. Well, so the I believe that you can like teach people. And you're in favor of teaching people. You said it outside. Teach the young ones. That's, so, that's true. Same concept. So I, yeah, definitely. If someone, my main concern now is a relationship and not, like I was willing and I am willing now as I've gotten older to like put sex on the back burner. And I don't think a lot of women are willing to do that. Um, you don't think sex is an important component No, I definitely do. But so, question if the guy has a schmeckle and it's not able to get you know get you off then what i mean i've been masturbating my whole life so right so that means you're going to be with a dude you're going to marry a guy spend the rest of your life with him masturbating no Masturba well no. then so I that's mean, what i'm saying relationship is truly based on love then i mean I and sex that... is wait okay wait <laughs> i don't know yet if <laughs> waiting until marriage includes all sexual acts Banana Lover 123 donated $69. Like, I don't... Panels have been awful lately, and this looks like another horrible one. Where is Andrew? He's the only thing making this show interesting lately. Sounds like somebody so, has a crush. Right? Stop Andrew, projecting. A little crush. Andrew's going to be doing a call-in a little bit later on. Uh, he will be calling in, but if... Uh, it's popping right now. We're just getting about? warmed up. Relax. Take a chill. If I mean you're welcome to unsub honestly you're welcome to unsubscribe from the channel like I <laughs> don't give a fuck okay um, we had some flakes it is what it is dude uh, we had no shows so uh, back to what I was saying I don't know if waiting until marriage includes all sexual acts so I would know based on certain things like second base if he's but size is like not the concern like I know sex is very important. Okay. I've known, but it's not the priority for me right now. Size matters when it's size matters when it's a micro for sure. If she you're with not a micro. Audio? No, she is. I'm good. I'm still checking. Wait. Okay. I don't know what is going on, but we can talk about it. Okay. Um. I mean, would you be with a guy who has a micro? A micro peen. I mean, shit. Exactly. You it's, would probably know I have before already you been, married him yeah. how it looks. So. How it looks, how so, it... Yeah. Here, let me ask you a question. Uh, <laughs> so, you've had sex already. Yeah. But now you're waiting until marriage. Uh, can I ask, like, have you had a one-night stand? No. You've never slept with a guy the same mm -hmm. night you met him? No. Uh, second night? Third? Um, most of my hookups have been from dating apps so i probably like third night third night okay i mean do, and do you want to date a christian guy uh, i'm not really picky um it says in the bible that like if you 
date someone or like you marry someone that has faith, then you're saved. And if uh, like a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. So have you been so have you been celibate for a while? Yeah. How I've, long have you been celibate for? Uh, right now, uh, two years. And then okay. previously I did another two years before I met okay. the five dates guy. All right. Well, it's not the worst I've heard, but, uh, and look, you're, if, a, if a woman had previously slept with a hundred men on the first date and she decides after doing that, that she wants to wait until she's married to have sex with her what would be her hundred and first partner. <laughs> That's her prerogative. From the guy's perspective, if I were to be advising like a male friend, if that would be an acceptable dynamic, she's in, she can do it. I would just tell him, you shouldn't date her. Yes. So are you saying it? Women are welcome to switch up. You could have been doing sex work, only sleeping with a new guy every single day yeah. of the week, you can switch up and be like, well, I'm going to wait until marriage now. But you're, you're able to do it, but men are also allowed to feel like that's kind of a raw deal and this is not a woman that I want to pursue. Yeah, I mean, that's... I can totally understand that, especially from the perspective of like, if I'm with a guy that's like actually like good for me and I'm holding out or withholding sex from him, then he might not be as enthused by it, but. Mm -hmm. Salu Brian Sava donated $69. Brian, banana lover boy is wrong. What separates you from FNF and other dating podcasts is um. whatever isn't ratchet and unprofessional. Keep up the good work, Bricks. Sometimes Maddie, ratchet. eight. Sometimes eight, 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 roasted. Ro boom, roasted. <laughs> All right, thank you, man. I think we're gonna, we are now gonna boost the uh, TTS trigger back up to the normal. So that should be switched. Uh, appreciate all of you guys who sent some in. The trigger should be bumped back up. So go ahead with your point. I definitely believe that like, okay, so I am willing to compromise on the waiting until marriage, but it's really situation based. Um, it's not something, it's something that I recently came to terms with like after the shrooms it's been within the past like four months that I was like okay I feel like I want to wait until marriage but that's uh, something that I'm willing to like compromise on or kind hmm. of well, it's, you... it's more so me just enforcing a boundary that I haven't enforced before of saying okay I want to withhold or wait to have sex with people before so that I can feel chemistry with them and not convolute it with sex because sex will convolute any chemistry that you have and mm -hmm. it'll ruin the potential of a good relationship. Can I ask you a question? What if there was a scenario where you meet a guy and could, could you imagine a scenario where, for example, you meet a guy that he's not inclined to wait until marriage, okay. but let's say you do have sex with him. He really likes you. You guys get into a long-term relationship. You guys end up dating for one or two years sex is great, you guys love each other, monogamous relationship, he now ends up proposing to you, you guys get married, you get the man. Okay, that so, sounds like a great. But so, but by, let's say in this scenario, he knows exactly what he's looking for in a relationship and that's a sexual relationship. Okay. And that would potentially close the door on a guy who would could otherwise end up being your future husband, life partner. Any I thoughts mean, on that? Like I said, I'm willing to compromise. So if it's really important to him, then I'm expecting him to communicate that to him to me. Mm -hmm. Like I really need sex in a relationship. And I would completely understand that and I would sympathize mm. with it because I'm like I am someone who wants sex too, but I'm also someone who in the past has made irresponsible decisions when I was younger and okay. I didn't want, I don't want to like. So you would like to wait until marriage, but if presented with an attractive enough partner, you would. <laughs> Does that sound like, can I, can I make that decision? Is that like greedy or what? It sounds selfish. Okay. But everyone's selfish. I think you're totally valid. Does anybody, what, what is, what's the panel's thoughts on the whole, like, well, you've had sex with 20 people. I'm not saying that's the case for you, but you've had sex with 20, 30, 40 people, first night, second night, third night. Then 
Prince Charming comes along and oh, hold on. I gave it to the fuck boys right. instantly, but the guy who's actually ought to be deserving of sexual access, you get to wait. Your thoughts on that panel? Go ahead. Mm, I think I, that anybody is can change, like drug addicts get sober all the time. People get yeah, saved. and sure. So I think people can genuinely decide, uh, I'm gonna be reborn in one way or another, and that's valid. But um, if the partner comes along and he can't respect her boundaries on that, then he's not meant for her to begin with. It's an incompatibility issue at that point, and you will find somebody who will respect that. And you shouldn't just let you shouldn't just let anybody make you change your mind on what you morally think is right. Yeah. And a man who is Prince Charming won't try to force you to. Yeah. That's just my take. And I, I don't, I don't think it's about. Side. I don't think he would force her. He would just. Uh, just walk out. He, he would just, yeah, and he's entitled yeah, to do he'd that. Live. Good. He'd leave. Uh, any thoughts from you? I agree, sir. I think we're just all very sexual beings, especially men. And I mean, that's a pretty hard, that's a hard sell, I think, for most guys. But I do see, like, I like this is totally a valid point, and that's what I was gonna say first is that like people can change, and like my mm -hmm. promiscuity used to be higher and now i really don't have a desire for men can mm -hmm. confirm at all besides mine right women obviously different story but. like i'm not saying that women shouldn't change for the better can't change for the better but it's like don't expect men to accept your past because we also have a right of discernment and judgment yeah. just as you do so that's totally fair too <laughs> and i mean i, I can see needs. why it seems weird but it's also like i'm not gonna judge i'm not as judgmental of the guy if he's made a decision whatever decision like informed by his past experiences mm. at least from the male perspective it's one thing like if she's a virgin or like that's always been her standard Right. Maybe not like the marriage thing, but she's like, okay, well, I want to wait until we're in like a serious long-term relationship. She's only been with one, two, three other guys. That she always waited like one, two, three months before having sex. But I think it's just like the switch up of like the shifting in values, because um, I think one of the concerns that might be the case, maybe not marriage, but let's say a girl wants to wait three months to have sex. It's like, okay, did you do that for the last guy? And then what about the guy that's gonna probably be after me yeah because like that's the that's the crazy thing is like when a girl's like oh i want to i've got a 60 day rule and then like they've never I've enforced not done it that shit, but they've never well, enforced can it. i say something really quick i actually yeah. have a friend who just even with her boyfriend her current boyfriend um like they've hooked up plenty of times and then she was like you know what i'm gonna go back to jesus and they're both very attractive people he's a very attractive guy and he, he's actually respecting her going celibate Oh, wait, so they they were dating? Yes. Oh, this is interesting. They are still okay. dating. I've heard about this a little bit, but... Okay, yeah. so they're dating. They were dating. They were having sex. She became religious, found and Jesus. And he's not. Interesting. And then, so they were having sex. They're still together, but then she's like, let's not have sex anymore. Yeah, she's like, morally, I just feel like God's putting it on my heart to, like, wait until marriage, and he actually is going along with it. Yeah. I mean, men... I hope, right. I hope she comments... <laughs> I if, mean, if look, you're watching if, Hillary, that's if brave. He, if is he intending to marry her? How long they've been together? Ooh, I don't know. Like maybe a year. They live together. They have a really healthy relationship. I, he's cheating. No, he. <laughs> I, I promise he's not. I mean, he would be a hundred. I mean, I don't trust anybody, but I, he's not cheating on her. It would be a hundred percent pretext for a breakup. Mm -hmm. He would be a hundred percent in the right to break up with yeah, her. Yeah, like if he decided he wanted to. Uh, I'm not saying he, it's not valid. He also seems to be. Uh, if he's okay with it, I mean, I suppose that's fine, but... Yeah, I mean, everybody's going to have different standards, but I don't. I, I think it's that fair if men are like, you know what, I'm, I'm not cool with this. But not all men are going to be that way. I've, had, I've actually had one or two similar experiences to that, sort of, but like earlier on, mm -hmm. which has been very peculiar. So I've had like, I've hooked up once, twice, three times with a girl, mm -hmm. and then she's like, ah, can we like pump the brakes? Can we... Mm -hmm. <laughs> And like that's not, was it like that's religious not reasons? A good look. Nope. Ooh. Just like yeah. I don't know if I'd tell people that. Isn't it though dependent on the guy and his tolerance? Well, no, no, no. For... This is what it is. This is I, this is my 
uh, this is what I think it is in, in that situation, is that so hooked up with the girls, and then they're like, oh, uh, I don't know. Like, they still want to date me, but they're like, ah, oh, I feel like we moved too quick, you know. I think it's that they want to tr <laughs> they want to leverage it into a long-term relationship. But at that point, the cat's out of the fucking bat. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like that's, that's way too much, like, carrot on the stick. Mm -hmm. It's way too much you trying to, like, withhold or leverage sex because it was never, we already hooked up. Now you want to reel it back to try to get me into a long-term relationship. So those invariably, I was just yeah, like, you Yeah, that's weird. Know, if it's for religious reasons, I can understand it. But I mean, I mean, and I think everybody has a right to their own body and what they want to do. But that situation is a little bit less, like, I, don't, I don't understand it as much mm -hmm. as if they have like some moral obligation that they It makes come sense upon. to me if a woman is trying to pursue a long-term relationship as her primary prerogative, because that's how we biologically are wired. We want stability for our potential offspring and if we are making decisions based off of that like i think most women have the sense that like if they're going to get into a long-term relationship with somebody okay 